Yeah, we're gonna need all that. Probably gonna be one of the most satisfying videos that I've made in a while. But before we get started, we gotta clean up what the uh, county snowplow guys left behind. Let's roll the intro. Let's do it. Was that bad? back to another one it has been an absolute hot minute since we've seen each other last um holy crap this snow i'm i'm that's just it it's it has kicked my ass working uh, a full-time job taking care of all the snow removal making sure my kids get to school and trying to find time for a home life let me tell you what there has been little to no sleep involved and Thank you to my wife. She let me die the past two days and just sleep. So we're feeling good. But so in the last video, I'm pretty sure it's the last video. Um, we hooked up the ultra, the Unimount Ultramount uh, adapter. Uh, we covered it in a little bit more detail. Uh, today we're going to be dropping it, and I couldn't be happier to drop it. Um, just a real quick note, two things. Um, you, I, me personally, I make sure that my snowshoes are all the way down. I don't plow with those down. Uh, unless I'm doing gravel, but we keep those all the way down and then we take our lift ram and we make sure that that's pushed all the way down because what that does is that allows us to move our mast, which we have to do when we put the uh, Unimount foot in there. We did when we installed it, we're gonna go ahead and put our scissor jack underneath it. Um, also, we put our snowshoes down so that way it puts the plow on a downward angle and it tips the bracket in reverse which if you remember when we installed it this god dang dude my fat ass is out of shape anyway um the scissor jack actually levels it out and what's nice is i like having it tip down at an angle when i go to pull into it that way the plow is at a downward angle and the ultra mount is at an upward angle and they just kind of feed into one another better and again, we stopped short. It, it, I explain it better in the video. Go ahead and go to the previous video and check it out. You'll see what I mean. So as we start lifting this up, I only lift it until I can start to turn these. Those are still pretty stiff. So we'll 
turn it some more and see now we can move this with absolutely no effort so that's how high we want to take it up the, uh, the extra height when we lift this up also helps to clear the foot for the unit mount um, and if you remember in the beginning how we pushed down our lifts our lift ram all the way it's because we want to be able to adjust this so that way we could put our pin in for the uh top part of the mount here and i usually line this up with the middle hole um kind of it, it it gets that uh what's what's the word i'm looking for that desired angle that i'm looking for and it goes in just easy peasy like that i don't have to hammer it in i don't have to force it in it's it's pretty easy i just rest my back up against the moldboard and push on the push on the mass there and pretty much does it itself so now that that's underneath there what we're going to do is we want to leave the scissor jack underneath because again remember this is super loose we're going to pull our pins and our electrical and then we're going to set it down on the ground which will lower the truck and the plow and then uh we'll back this thing out uh it is kind of a i'll show you <laughs> it's right it's just easier we are out plow is down on the uh ultra mount or sorry the unimount uh landing gear there We'll go ahead and back this thing out. Um, usually I have to do it in, in two moves. I'll, I'll show you why. up out of it pull on the mast that way it'll pop it out because you can see how that's at a downward angle so it's just again this like i said in the last video this will never be as convenient or as easy as an ultra mount but i'm telling you right now it's a lot easier than the other style tenfold let's uh let's get the rest of the sweet girl unloaded so that way she can take a break. much it so this thing has been i am so proud of this truck this thing is i know it's it's ugly to most people same thing with my plow i know it's ugly to people or oh right oh dude you need to get a v-blade you need to get i do need to get wings i'll say that much and i can i do see where you v-blade guys are coming from uh especially when stacking snow this thing does it but there's a lot of cleanup that i gotta do but it uh I'm I'm so happy with this truck. I really am. It's the whole setup. Single digit temperatures already. Yes, I keep the thing plugged in. I do keep uh, additive through it. Keep it from gelling up. Just because it's not worth when when you got to go out. It's it's not worth having problems or having to sit there and f around with the damn thing. Um, yeah, my barn is heated, but as you can see, it's kind of filled up. So I always make sure that I keep it plugged in. And I keep additive in it, try to keep the tank as full as possible. That way, when we do get the fluctuations in the temperature, you know, I don't have things icing up in the Which tank. On that note, man, there's a lot of you people are idiots out there. Like, I'm not talking to anyone specifically, but I mean, just as 
a community. Y'all are idiots because you sit there and you you talk shit about, oh, I'll cold start my truck in this temperature, this, that, and the other thing because it makes you cool or something. But then the flip side to it is somebody's truck gels up. You're like, oh, that's why you got to plug it in. That's why you got to put additive in it. What side of the fence are you on? Like, seriously, I don't, I don't get you people. I, I really don't. <laughs> you make my brain hurt. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, that's, that's going to do it for me. I got to get this thing and I got to power wash all that shit off of there. She's, uh, she's definitely earned it. She's held her own. Uh, anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm only saying that to be a basic ass douchebag YouTuber because I want to see if the, if I could get the buttons and shit to work on here. So <laughs> bear with me. Anyway, God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Be good to one another. See you.